One thing DC does right is their animation, their animated movies. DC has graced us once again, come up with another win with their new animated movie, The Green Lantern, in Brightest Day. The story follows Jon Stewart, an ex-marine, who has anger issues but tries his best to hold that anger in. One day, a spaceship crashes to his neighborhood and it turns out that it's a Green Lantern ship. He is then given the Green Lantern ring, which he wants to take off badly. The ring takes him to the watchtower of the Justice League. There he teams up with the Green Arrow, and if you read the comics, the Green Arrow and the Lantern are like a dynamic duo in the DC Universe. The animation is beautiful and well crafted. If you have seen the Batman, the Long Halloween, it's the same animation art style. Everything is visually stunning and the spaceship scenes, the space itself, is very well done. The characters are the light on the joy of the whole animation movie. If you have seen the DC animated movies, they tend to do weird team-ups, and this one is not so different. Jon Stewart has to team up with the Green Arrow as they have to go to the space to solve some disturbance that has occurred. The two characters don't like each other from the very first start of the movie as the Green Arrow thinks that Jon Stewart, since he's a rookie, doesn't know what he's doing, might stab him in the back. Along their journey, they encounter another character, Shaira or her girl, who acts without thinking. She can't control her pulses, and she's very rude, always want to fight. She is recruited to join the gang in order to solve the mystery of what caused the war at her planet. Another character is added into the group, Adam Strange, who has been missing for years, and together they must solve the mystery that has caused the disturbance in the outer space. It is a bunch of interesting characters that is interesting and unique and fun to watch. Together just not going along very well. Green Lantern Beware My Power is a good animated movie that is not only one and a half long like any other DC animated movie. The voice cast is impressive. It has Aldis Hodge who will be playing the live action Hawkman in the new 2020 Black Adam and does a great voice of Jon Stewart. This is another win for the DC animated movie to add to their collection with so many twists and who the villain is of the story.